Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about the Salesforce search and global search functions in Lightning. So the search bar is the top in your header of the app available to all users on all pages in Salesforce. So let's get used to what it does. It's like the search engine of Salesforce. So there's a whole bunch of files behind the scenes and you don't and you don't know where or what you need exactly, but you've got a term in mind that you wanted to search. That's where it comes in handy. So you're not drilling down anything in particular just yet, you're just using that top bar. But once you click into it, you can see that there are five items that have popped up. These are titled recent items. They're actually the five items recently used. So what is it actually showing you? We can see here a little icon that's referencing the object icon. The name on the top is the record name and underneath that is what type of object it is. So this is an account. You do get one extra bit of information here. This extra bit of information actually shows you the account this contact is associated to. Just in case, for instance, there may be two Jack Rogers in your Salesforce org, it gives you that account they're associated to. So you can quickly see which one you want. So from here, a user can click directly into that account or contact or result. So let me dive into an example of a user who's sitting in the opportunities object. But say they wanted to find a particular account. Up the top, you can see it's actually pre-populated the different text. Instead of just search, it says search opportunities and more. So once we click into it, the same five items reappear. But once I start typing, it starts looking through the system to try and find a match. Now it's giving me matches in names. It's giving me matches in the related record of that name and also something just within a sentence in a note here. But what does this all mean? So the top option, if you click through to it, will go through to the search screen where you can then drill down further. The second option will actually only search in the object that you're sitting in at the moment. So for me, this is opportunities. As you can see, I'm on the opportunities page. And then continuing down are the five top results that match the search term. So top results mean the ones you've interacted with recently. What else do we have though? So on the top left here, you can see an all drop down. Once I click the all drop down, I get a list of objects. So if you know that it's something like an account you're looking for, you can click accounts object and then continue searching. As you can see, it's actually shown up with only accounts as the results that it's showing me. But let's go ahead and have a look at what happens when you're not searching a particular object and you just want to search the term and press enter. Once you get to the search results screen, on the left hand side you've got a list of your objects that it's searching in and on the top it's highlighted as top results. So on the right hand side of your screen you're actually seeing your top results. So you can see I've got accounts, opportunities, contacts and they all have similarities to the search term. But on the left hand side Say I wanted to look for opportunities and I know there was more than that. So it says five plus results. Let's click into opportunities. Now it opens up a page that has more results, is just focusing on opportunities. But say it's very long and I really wanted to just find the ones that are in negotiation or review stage still. So that's where on your left hand side, your filters section comes in handy. So this is the refine by section where you can utilize the fields here to then further decrease the results showing on your screen. So I said I only wanted to see the ones that were in negotiate and review. So once I click the stage, it automatically reduced the list for me to see. So there's one last thing I wanted to show you where it tries to help correct your spelling and similarly tries to find a corrected word instead. So say I actually put in unite with an E and it's not fully the word, so it's saying showing results for Unite and spell corrected terms. So it is still showing me the ones that are relative to what I've typed in, but it's telling me that I am actually searching on Unite. So it's trying to help you out. So that's all for now for search terms. Go try it out and um, tune in for the next video. Thanks for tuning in. This is Mia Pacey with Pace Yourself.